Izai and I are spending the weekend in the southern town of Moal Bual here on the island of Cebu in the Philippines. We started our day by doing what is probably the most popular activity for tourists in all of the Philippines, canyoneering at Kawasan Falls. If you missed that, check out our last video. Now we plan to end the day at one of Moal Bual's most famous beaches, which we've actually never seen before, Bas Daku or White Beach. My eye on Hapon wonders, it is 4 p.m. right now and Izai and I are headed out to go to Bas Daku. It is one of the most famous beaches down here, but I have never been. Izai has been once, but she didn't like it because it was right after a storm. So it was really messed up. So she didn't really have a fair impression of it. We're gonna basically be seeing it for the first time for both of us how it's meant to be. So let's check it out. We left Magic Island Dive Resort and headed straight for Bastaco. It shouldn't take long at all. The drive is only about 10 or 15 minutes tops coming from the Panaksama area of Wall Wall. All right, we just arrived on Bastaco or White Beach. We actually, it took us a lot longer to get here than we expected because we had to go back and get a pass. Proving that we're staying in Mual Bual. So we had to turn around, come all the way back, but uh, it's okay. We're here now just in time for golden hour. Yeah, I have it. We're here just in time for golden hour. So we'll probably get the drone up right away and just see how it looks. It looks beautiful from here. Our initial impressions walking out onto Bastaco were chill vibes. This beach has a totally different feel to it than Banaksama. Isa, you made friends. Hi, big guy. Hello. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. Water here in Basdaku is warm. It's like actually really, really nice. Oh man, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> the temperature of the water is really nice. It's way better than Kawasan's temperature. Of course. <laughs> it's warm, Izai. It's actually warm. Oh. All right, guys, we're posing Izai. She wants posed for a picture, so here's the image. Let's see what we can do. All right, Izai wants to look like this. Oh, it's perfect already. Well, lean your head back a little more. Uh, maybe not, not that much. Wait, Izai, is this Laura? Lost LeBlanc's first girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you need your outer leg to come in a little bit more. Have your inner leg be the further one out. No, your outer leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More. Yeah, now you want to put your outer leg through the inner leg. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, there you go. I don't know how you understood that. Perfect. You look just like Laura. <laughs> okay, this one now, guys. Uh, straighten that back leg more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the outer arm needs to come in a little. It needs to face toward me more. Put, point your hand. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. It looks good to me. Bastaco actually means big sand, referring to the fact that this beach has the widest stretch of sand in all of Moab Wall. The other famous beach here, Panaksama, is actually located in Basdiot, which means little sand, because there isn't really much sand for lying around in that area. Oh, well, the sun's setting setting over Negros. This is Basdaku. It's definitely a nice beach. It's much more of a traditional beach than Panaksama. So this is more of your like normal beach here in Mual Bual. But personally, I kind of like Panaksama more. What do you think? You like this one more? Why do you like Panaksama? Uh, 
It's not about the white sand for Ponic Sama for me. It's the I just really like all the restaurants and stuff to do. It's like I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's much to do here, but that's not what it's about. This one's about the, the white yeah. sand chill. I think you should just visit both. Like I really don't think I should compare to be honest. Mm -hmm. When you're in Mual Bual, just come to both. But the sun's setting, we're gonna go home because we have to put in our order by seven o'clock or else we can't eat. <laughs> so let's head out. This was the first time in over a year where leaving the beach meant going back to our resort and not driving hours to get back home. It was a great feeling made even better by the beautiful colors lighting up the sky as we drove. What'd you get? Chicken curry. Same as last night? Yes. And carbonara. Yeah. Ooh, we, ooh. Looks a lot. <laughs> yes, a lot, dude. I'm hyped. <laughs> Let's try this. So we already you know try. that one's good. Okay, yeah, you try the carb carbonara. It's good. It's good? It is good. All right, let me try. Mmm, this one's really good, guys. Everything we've gotten so far here at the restaurant at Magic Island has been... All of it has been good. This is one of those carbonara where every bite you take, it gets better. Early the next morning. We woke up right before sunrise and managed to have it all to ourselves. Everything was so calm. The pitch darkness slowly melted away, revealing the vivid orange of the sky in contrast with the blues of the sea. If I could pick one sunrise or sunset from this trip to experience again, it would be this one. Yesterday, Isai and I missed sunrise, so we wanted to be positive we could see it today. And while we were down here flying the drone, this thing just fell straight out of the street and almost landed right on Isai's head. <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> but also, the one of the workers here just came and opened this gate down here, which we haven't seen open since we've been here. So, let's see what the view down here looks like. Looks nice down here. Boy. This island right there, that's Pescador Island. That's where we're going later today, but you're gonna have to click on the next video to see it. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to sub so you can see our adventure at Pescador Island. They have a scuba thing here, but I don't know how we're gonna have time for that. <laughs> Let's check it out. The tide's low right now, so I wanna walk down this way and just look around those rocks. Always like big rocks. I don't know, I guess I'm a kid like that. Oh, there's actually stairs here, but they go to nothing. Look guys, they have stairs to nothing. It just ends at this wall. Okay, I know you have the magic in you. Give it a shot. Hello, Homora. It's not working. I guess I don't have my wand. Oh, you forgot your wand back home, of course. What did you think when this thing dropped almost right on your head? I thought, well, good thing it's not a coconut. <laughs> Don't forget, our day is far from over. If you want to see our Pescador Island adventure, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That will be out very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and keep wondering from Mwalboa.